Hello, it's Steve Grisetti again, co-founder of MoviePicks.com and author of the MoviePicks.com Guide to Vegas Movie Studio Platinum. And here we are in Vegas Movie Studio Platinum. We have our assets gathered into our project media panel. Our assets are our video, our sound files, our music files. They are gathered here in our project media. And now we can begin the process of editing our video. But rather than add them directly to the timeline, what I'd like to encourage you to do, especially when you're working with longer sequences, is give them a pre-trim first or prepare them before you drag them on down to the timeline. And the way you do that, and this is very typical for professional video editors to use this process, is to open the video files first in the trimmer. And you can do that simply by right-clicking on a selected clip here in Project Media and selecting Open in Trimmer. Uh, by the way, you do have that option also. If the clip were already an event on your timeline, you can right click and open it in the trimmer from the timeline also. And here we have like a little floating window, there it is, that shows you your video. You can make it larger or smaller if you need to by dragging on this corner. Traditionally, you would scrub through a video simply by dragging the playhead through it, but new to version 14, Magix has added what they call a hover scrub. I'm not even clicking the button on my mouse, I'm just kind of hovering my mouse over the clip and I can do a quick preview of it simply by you know moving my mouse across the preview screen. It's a neat new feature. Now, when we've got a longer sequence, and this is about 30 seconds long, this is longer than I like to use in my movies. I generally use clips that are about four or five seconds long. I'd like to break this into smaller pieces. If this were a 10 minute long clip, whatever it is, I could drag it down to the timeline and then trim it and slice it there but that's really an inefficient way to work. I'd like to be able to just take the sequences I want directly from the trimmer. So for instance, I can position my playhead right about here where I'd like this clip to begin. There we go. And I can set a start point for the sub clip I'm going to create. I can do that by clicking on this button right here. Now, if you don't see these, by the way, if you have your trimmer very small, these buttons can be found by clicking on the more buttons button. There we go. Anyway, start button is right here. You can also set a start point by pressing the I on your keyboard or the open brackets key. There's my start point. You can see the little yellow flags above the playhead. And let's move down here just a little bit further. It's going to be my end point. Once again, I could use the keyboard shortcut O or close brackets. And there is my sequence. So rather than using the entire 30 second clip, I just want to use this little, I don't know, three second clip. And I can drag directly here from the preview monitor down to my timeline. And I only get the few seconds of the clip that I'd like to use. Another way to do that, of course, is simply position the playhead uh, where you'd like the clip to appear. Make sure the track is armed. That means that little white light is on. And then just go here. And there's a button here called Add to Timeline from Cursor. And when I click that, it adds the selected sequence or this region on down as an event on your timeline. Now, that's one way to do it. We could go through this whole clip, just selecting the pieces I want and adding them to the timeline. But I could also do this in advance. In other words, I could pre-trim. I could select a pre-trim of only my favorite moments or only the special moments from this longer clip. In order to do that, I'm just going to right click here on the media bin folder in my project media panel and select create new bin. We'll call this farmer's market. And this is where I'm going to put my sub clips. So as I select clips in the trimmer from this longer piece, start, end. Rather than drag them directly to the timeline, I can simply go over here to this button called Create Subclip. And this will create a subclip. I can name it whatever I want. And it's going to put it right there in my folder in the selected media bin that I've created. So here's one of my subclips. I can go through here, say I want this subclip. And now we're only taking the segments of the video that we actually want. And I built sort of a mini library here of only the best parts of that longer video. When I am just going to delete what's on the timeline right now, select them and delete them. When I drag any one of these clips down to my timeline, you notice I don't get the full 30 second clip. I only get the sub clip that I selected. If I were to open this sub clip here in the trimmer, you see that again, I don't see the entire clip. I only see the shortened trimmed version subclip. 
It's pretty cool. It's a great little tool, a great way to prepare and pre-trim your files before you bring them on down to the timeline. Now here in part four, we're going to come back and show you how to do some real editing here, actually assembling our media clips down on the timeline. I hope you join me for that. I'm Steve Grisetti. Thanks for joining me.